Yo! Got the goatee action going on. Um, it's very uneven now that I see it. <laughs> I got a four package, especially this side. Four package, three sport meal day. Um, and then I'm going to go into a little bit of venting for a bit. <laughs> but uh, I got four cards to show you. One of them hockey, one basketball, two football. Many of you may or may not know, Cleveland has a hockey team called the Lake Erie Monsters, who happens to be the minor league affiliate of uh, the Colorado Avalanche. God, this really is a bad. <laughs> Now that I look at it. Anyway, they're the minor league affiliate to the Colorado Avalanche. And uh, the Capitals are my main team, but I also follow the Avalanche. I like this guy that I got an autograph of, Matt Duchesne, a bunch of other dudes on the team. But uh, this is from 2012-2013 Crown Royale Hockey. I don't know what product you get this out of, because I think it's in... Prime, I want to say it's in Prime, but uh, this is scratching the surface, the rink autographs of Gabriel Landeskog, one of the uh, better players on the Colorado Avalanche. Got that for pretty cheap. So, uh, hockey PC. Next one, is basketball. I've always, I don't want to say I've always liked this guy. He's in his second year, second or third year, and uh, I got him literally on every one of my fantasy teams, <laughs> and he is killing it for me this year. And, uh wanted to pick up an auto of him, and I picked this up for like four bucks shipped, <laughs> so I figured, hey, why not? Not bad for a guy who averages a double-double. But uh, this is of Orlando Magic Center. Numbered 264 of 399 from 2012-2013 select of Mr. Nikola Vukovic. Just wanted to pick up an auto of him. I'm a pretty big fan of his. He's been playing rather well. And, uh... Playing pretty well for a team that had Dwight Howard as their center before them. He averages, I think, 16 and 11, 16 and 12, something like that. So, uh, really, really like that. A Browns pickup. I only have one Browns pickup. This I picked up because it was cheap as hell. <laughs> and, uh, God, my face was blowing up. And I wanted to get a five star card because I only have one five star, and that's the, uh, this one, <laughs> the patch of Montario Hardy, so the Jane, uh, not Jane, wow, Ben sent me, and, uh, wanted to pick up another five-star card, so I picked up this one, it's numbered 115 of 200, of uh, a guy who we sorely missed this year once he tore his ACL, on-card autograph of Mr. Travis Benjamin, need to get a, a holder for this. Dumbass shipper had it in a at least he put it in a penny sleeve, but he had it in the penny sleeve, sandwiched between two top loaders, normal size top loaders, in a team bag, in between cardboard. So I mean it wasn't horrible, but would have liked a case to go with it. <laughs> I need supplies. So I'm gonna put that over here. And finally, this card was a Christmas Day steal. I bought this card on Christmas, and uh, I think I stole it personally. I paid twenty bucks for a guy who was the best rookie quarterback until he got hurt. And uh, the second auto of this guy. So yeah. It technically it's an eBay one of one. It's number two of two hundred, so zero zero two two zero zero. Uh, 
quad jersey autograph from Topps Prime of Mr. E.J. Manuel. So we might start a little mini collection of his. Who knows? So, uh, we'll see. Pretty nice. E.J. Manuel. Quad Relic Auto. And, uh, into the venting I go. Um, I don't know how much you're going to see from me. I, uh, really going to slow down buying stuff now. And, uh, I got a list of guys that I'm going to hit back for all that they've done for me. And, uh, that's all I'm going to be focusing on, really, is hitting these guys back. Because money isn't a strong suit. I mean, I'm not struggling. I got I get all my bills paid, but then I, I, I like I said, that stuff that I bought, I spent maybe... 35 bucks total. <laughs> like, I don't spend that much. <clears throat> I'm not cheap ass, but. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna focus on hitting the guys back that, uh, have sent me stuff over the past year that uh, I haven't gotten to yet. And, um. So, yeah. And then the reason I'm gonna be going away for a little bit, probably is because me and several of my friends have an opportunity to go to a major, 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 major <laughs> music festival in April. And, uh, the third week of April. And it's in Massachusetts. It's the New England Metal and Hardcore Festival in Worcester, Massachusetts. And it's not going to be cheap. <laughs> you know, you got your ticket prices, you got hotels, you got transportation, you know, it's a 10 to 11 hour drive from where I'm at to Worcester. So I gotta start watching my money if uh, this trip is gonna happen. Um, many of you may think, you know, why are you why are you going to a music festival? Music before cards, before video games, before anything. Music was my life. I was in show choir. I was in marching band. I was in jazz band. I was in everything. Everything you could think of in high school and grade school. I'm heavily, heavily involved in Cleveland's music scene with the metal and the hardcore. I'm going to a show Saturday that I help promote. If you guys are friends with me on Facebook, you've seen me post about it over and over and over again. <laughs> and uh, I'm just really, really passionate about, about music and the music that I listen to. And I know some people who I'm friends with on Facebook are like, huh. Eh. Your music blows. All it is is a bunch of dudes screaming into a microphone and talking about the devil. It's not. <laughs> There's a lot more to it. And most of the stuff I listen to don't even talk about the devil. <laughs> so, I mean, yes, I do. There is stuff that I listen to that is like that. But what does it matter to you? Like, you know, don't judge me based on the music that I listen to. Like, that's just... To me, that's ignorant as hell. Like, you know, if, if you... If, like, <laughs> Dave, Josh Johnson, 55, listens to One Direction. I can't stand One Direction. But Dave is one of the best, most genuine dudes I've ever met in my life. It's just shitty. Because, like, I've had... some YouTubers... unfriend me and block me. I don't know if it's because of my music. I don't know if it's because on Sundays and during football season, I spam post because I don't work Sundays for work because that's the one day that I have off every weekend or every week. And I have nothing else better to do because it's 20 degrees outside. <laughs> so I just sit at home and I spam post the hell out of Facebook with my anger regarding the Browns, which, by the way, I don't think we should have fired Chudzinski. I just find it stupid that, you know, people are unfriending me and blocking me on Facebook for whatever reason. If you don't like me, tell me. I'll unfriend me. I'll friend myself for you. But, like, don't go behind my back and just completely cut me out of your life without even telling me. Like, you know, I find that kind of crappy. If you have an issue, I, I've never scammed anybody. I've never done anything to anybody. 
So, like, I tried to contact somebody regarding something the other day, and I go on Facebook, and I'm not even friends with them anymore. So, why would I go out of my way and call you on the phone or text you even if you're just going to do me dirty like that, I guess? I don't know. But, anyway, off my little tangent of people... So yeah, there's a big time music metal fest coming up, and a lot of the bands that are playing I know and listen to, some of them I know personally, and that that's going to be what I'm going to be saving my money up for. You know, it's not going to be a cheap trip. If any of you live in the Massachusetts area or anywhere near Worcester, let me know. I'll be there for four days, if this trip for sure happens. But uh, yeah, I've just been... I'm just working, paying my bills, chilling, playing in this trip. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching and listening to me rant and babble and ramble. Whatever other word you can think of. I'm going to go to work in a few hours. I get no days off. I've worked every holiday this year, so would have got to make the paper Papa Quigs thank you <laughs> and, uh, that, that's going to be it for me so uh, YouTube be cool be easy be safe tonight if you're going out drinking have a DD later guys